I'm just like, brr, brr. welcome back to my motherfucking show. Canvas in five minutes and it's episode four. We gonna learn how to animate shit. That'll request animation frame shit. Okay, we don't have time for this shit. We only have five minutes. Welcome back. Today we're gonna learn animations. As always, slap that fucking subscribe button. Fuck. Here we go. All right. So uh, the the previous episodes, we learned how to draw some um some basics, right? Some some circles and some squares and shit like that. And um, now we're gonna get into how to animate shit with Canvas, right? So uh, wh what are we gonna animate? Let's let's make a circle. That'll be fun. Um. So let's set our fill style. Set it to red. We like to have fun. Maybe maybe we could put a, a background on it this time. We could say ctx fill style equals yellow, right? And then ctx fill rect, right? I'm gonna go zero zero four hundred four hundred. And uh, right, the the canvas is four hundred by four hundred, so it's it's the whole thing. So down here, we're gonna create a ctx arc. Right, we're gonna say uh, zero. Well, no, let's say uh, you know, 200, 250, zero, 250, and always math dot pi times two, and then call fill. And actually, we're gonna do it properly this time. Let's do a ctx dot close path on this thing. All right, so now we have this clown's butthole. Begin path probably redundant. All right, so uh, what if we wanted this ball to bounce? How do we do this? Um, it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, we're gonna do some some basic physics type shit. Let's say um, let velocity equal one, and then let's say let gravity equal something silly like zero point two, and let's say let y equal two hundred. Two fucking hundred. And then come down here to our, our ball and use the Y there. So ideally what we want to do is uh, you know tweak these values over time so that it animates. And the way that you do that when drawing is with request animation frame. So I can stick all this in a draw function. So I can say function draw, right? And put all this in there. I'm gonna hit save. Right, it's not going to draw anything because we didn't call draw yet. So uh, at the bottom, if we call request animation frame with draw, what it's going to do is when uh, when the browser has a frame available, uh, that's when it's going to schedule our draw to be called. If we want this to loop, right, so it'll continuously draw, we're just going to call request animation frame draw inside of draw, creating this recursive animation frame loop, right? Um, so yeah, right now, uh, the first thing that we want to do is if this is going to draw each time, we want to clear it each time. Otherwise, it's going to draw on top of itself, right? Um, and then we just want to we want to tweak some things, right? So if we wanted to, uh, you know, have it bounce, um, we can say y plus equals velocity, but it's probably not going to bounce. It's just going to fall it's sad um, so we have to set up a constraint so let's say if y is uh, greater than 350 right which is 400 minus the radius of the ball um, we can say velocity is equal to velocity uh, times negative one which will reverse our direction which will make it bounce right boing along along and then um, it's just gonna bounce out of the frame the other way unless we put some gravity on this bad boy so on the else let's say velocity plus equals gravity so now oh my oh my goodness it's bouncing we're having too much fun um, I think we might have a little bit of time left so l let's do another fun thing um, it's red but that doesn't look that cool um, why don't we create a gradient so let's say let grad equal uh, CTX create linear gradient right and we can say like 0, 0.0 uh, 100 by 100 or something like that and then we're gonna add stops so we're gonna say uh, grad dot add color stop one let's go magenta grad add 
color stop zero and do cyan. And then we can set our fill style to that gradient that we've created. Oh, but this is silly. And I'll tell you why. Um, let's say we made this gradient 400. Um, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's actually wrong. We want to have this be zero. And see how it's relative to the canvas itself. It's not relative to the actual element. Um, so what we want to do is for our x1 y, and x y1, x2, y2, um, we're going to want to say y minus 50 and then y plus 50, right? And then the gradient position is always in sync with the position of our ball. And now we have this cool vapor wavy looking bouncing ball um, that we're just going to use to demonstrate the basics of animation with canvas. Um, join me on the next episode where we'll go a little bit deeper. Hope everybody had fun today. And as always, slap that fucking subscribe button.